Good morning. This is the second English video session of the week for class 8. Children, I hope you remember what I taught you yesterday. Yes, I told you stories from the lesson Tsunami. I hope you remember the stories that I told you. What was the first story I told you? Yes, it was about Ignatius. What happened to Ignatius? Was he saved? Was he able to save his life? Yes, his wife and children were washed away, but he was not. So, what did we learn yesterday? That tsunami is very powerful. It destroys everything. It causes so much of destruction. So, now today, I am going to tell you stories from Highland. Okay. I will begin with the story of Tilly Smith. So, let's begin. The Smith family from Southeast England was celebrating Christmas at a beach resort in Southern Thai. I told you children, you remember? It's Christmas time. Actually, when did that tsunami happen? The next day after Christmas. That is on 26th December. So it is Christmas time. All are in a festival mood. Tilly Smith with her family members. She was also busy celebrating Christmas there. Tilly Smith was a 10 year old school girl. Her sister was 7 years old. Their parents were Penny and Colin Smith. So Tilly Smith along with her parents that is father, mother and 7 year old sister they were there celebrating at the beach resort. Let us see what happened after that. It was 26 December 2004. The deadly tsunami waves were already on their way and you know Tilly Smith was able to sense that something terrible is going to happen. Triggered by a massive earthquake of northern Sumatra earlier that morning. So that was the cause of tsunami. Actually, if you remember children, what is tsunami? Tsunami happens because of an earthquake under the sea. So that is what was happening here. The water was swelling and kept coming in. The beach was getting smaller and smaller. I didn't know what was happening. Tilly Smith, Penny Smith, all the family members were perplexed. They did not know what was happening. Let us see what happens after that. But Tilly Smith sensed that something was wrong. Her mind kept going back to a geography lesson. She had taken in England just two weeks before she flew out to Thailand with her family. Children, Tilly Smith's teacher, geography teacher, had shown the class a video on tsunami. She remembered all that she had seen in the video and actually she knew what a tsunami was. That is the reason you know. She is able to see all the lives here. Let us see what happens. Her mind kept going back to the geography lesson. See, that is how she remembered what was going to happen. Tilly saw the sea slowly rise and start to foam. Bubbles and form whirlpools. The same thing she had seen in that video which her geography teacher had shown her. So, she has some idea about what a tsunami is. In fact, she is trying to remember all that was shown to her, all that was taught to her. 
She remembered that she had seen this in class in a video of a tsunami that had hit the Hawaiian Islands in 1946. So her geography teacher had actually shown her a video on tsunami, a tsunami that had hit the Hawaiian Islands in the year 1946. had shown her class the video and told them that tsunamis can be caused by earthquakes volcanoes and landslides so what we understand here is that tilly smith knows she knew at that time also that perhaps a deadly tsunami was approaching to see what happens after that till he started to scream at her family to get off the beach no what till he smith started doing you know she started shouting in fact she got hysterical she started behaving like a mad person she was in a state of panic actually she wanted to save the lives of all her family members why was she shouting she wanted them to run to their hotel so that their lives would be saved she got more and more hysterical said her mother then i did know what the tsunami was till is it new what a tsunami was but father and mother of tilly smith they did not know what a tsunami was so the mother was not able to understand what was actually happening let us see what happened next but seeing my daughter so frightened thought something serious must be going on the mother understood something terrible is happening or is about to happen this much her mother was able to understand actually it was only tilly smith who knew about tsunami because she had learned it in her geography class a video was shown to her but the mother and father had no idea about tsunami tilly's parents took her and her sister away from the beach to the swimming pool at the hotel so they went to the hotel room which was on the third floor and they took refuge there a number of other tourists also left the beach with them then it was as if the entire sea had come out after them the powerful waves of tsunami Oh my god what a scene of terror and horror it must have been everyone present there at the beach they were so frightened they did not even understand what was happening what to do but they all tried to run away from there because it was still smith who told them that something terrible was about to happen so they should all run away only then their lives could be saved the family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel the building withstood the surge of three tsunami waves very strong that building was if they had stayed on the beach they would not have been alive why because the powerful waves of tsunami would have swept them away the smiths later met other tourists who had lost entire families some had lost their children some had lost their father some had lost their mother some had lost their wives pathetic it was indeed till and the geography lesson they had been forward till he went back to her school in india and told her classmates a terrifying tale now till go 
goes back to her school in India. And then she narrates the entire incident. What happened? What did she see? How did they feel there? She started narrating to all her friends. What did she narrate? That terrible incident. Let's see what happened after that. Before the child waves slammed into the coast in India and Sri Lanka, wild and domestic animals seemed to know what was about to happen. Actually, the fact is that animals are able to sense. They have something called sixth sense. They are able to sense that something dangerous is about to happen. Natural disasters they are able to sense. So, what do they do? They run away from the dangerous spots. And that is how they are able to save their lives. But this sixth sense, we humans do not have. That is why we have to face, face such disasters in our lives. Many people believe that animals possess a sixth sense. Children, I already told you, they have a sixth sense. That is why they are able to save their lives. And how are they able to sense it? Through vibration. They are able to feel that vibration. That is why they run to safer places. They can sense an approaching disaster long before humans realize what's going on. That is how they are able to protect their lives. They run for shelter. Whereas humans, since they are not able to sense that a disaster is approaching, they are not able to take run for shelter immediately. We cannot be sure whether animals have a sixth sense or not. But people believe that they do have a sixth sense. Otherwise, why do they run away before a danger approaches, a danger like tsunami, a disaster like tsunami? But the fact is that the giant waves that rolled through the Indian Ocean killed more than 1,50,000 people in a dozen countries. But not many animals have been reported dead. Only humans have been reported dead. Heavy loss of life and property have been reported. But animals, why such reports we don't get to see here or we? Because of their sixth sense, they are able to run away from danger. Along India's Kadalur coast, where thousands of people perished, Buffaloes, goats and dogs were found unharmed. See, so many people died. Humans lost their lives. But nothing happened to these animals, buffaloes, goats and dogs. Why? Because they could sense that something terrible is about to happen. Something terrible is going to happen. The Yana National Park in Sri Lanka is home to a variety of animals including elephants, leopards and 130 species of birds. Now we have so many, so many animals and birds in that Yala National Park. But when a natural, when a natural disaster happens, they are absolutely unaffected as they are able to sense. 60 visitors were washed away from the Patanambala beach inside the park. See, humans are harmed, but nothing happens to the animals. They remain absolutely unarmed. Sixty visitors were washed away from the Patanambala beach inside the park, but no animal carcasses were found. No dead bodies of animals were found. Except for two water buffaloes. Maybe only two water buffaloes were affected by tsunami. So they died. About an hour before the tsunami hit people at Yama National Park had observed over three elephants running away from the 
Patanangala Beach. Why do you think they were running away from the Patanangala Beach? Because, because they were able to sense that now a tsunami is approaching. So, run away from here. Otherwise, what's going to happen? Death, death and only death. Thank you. 